When it comes to domesticated animals, perhaps no pet is more synonymous with human beings than the dog. In fact, it is believed that the first dog to be domesticated by humans was over 15,000 years ago, and today many people can't imagine their lives without them. While some people are more than happy to open their homes and their hearts to any pup in need of a friend, discriminating enthusiasts and breeders the world over are committed to finding the most expensive and iconic breeds possible. Today, we're going to be looking at 10 of the rarest dog breeds in the world. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Kukir Hanji. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that, but I'm sure it's a cute puppy anyway. These small spaniel-type dogs known as Kukir Hanji attract plenty of attention with their flashy orange and white coloring and probably interesting name. Originally bred to aid in duck hunting, these dogs were expected to spend the off-season catching vermin around the farm. This multitude of uses means the Kukir Hanji short stature is perfect both luring ducks as well as chasing smaller prey who may be able to fit into space as larger dogs could not. Today, there are a finite number of these dogs in the world, and breeders have to take extraordinary precautions to prevent the array of genetic disorders that plague them. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. The Norwegian Lundhund. The Norwegian Lundhund is pretty much unique from the ground up. That's because rather than the usual four toes that most canines have, the Norwegian Lundhund has six little toes on each paw. This rather odd adaptation may just have something to do with their rather troubled history. The Norwegian Lundhund was originally bred with the distinct purpose of hunting puffin birds along the Norwegian coast. As time went on, however, new methods of hunting came along, and soon this special ed breed was in very short demand. By 1900, the breed existed only in an isolated village named Mostad, and by 1963, only six remained in the world. Thanks to carefully monitored breeding efforts, the population was able to recover, and now there is around 1,400 of them around the world. Number 8. Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog A relatively new breed, the Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog was engineered as an attack dog for use by the Czechoslovak Special Forces for military special operations carried out by commandos. The breed was created by crossing German Shepherd Dogs and Carpathian Wolves. The result was a dog that was tame enough to train, but who had the superior navigational skills, endurance, night vision, hearing, and sense of smell. After many years of military and rescue service, the Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog was officially recognized as a breed by Fédération Sinologique Internationale in 1989. Number 7. Thai Ridgeback until recently, our number 7 entry, the Thai Ridgeback, was almost entirely unknown outside of its native Thailand. That is in part because it is a pariah dog. A pariah dog is a breed of dog that is half wild and free ranging, but lives close to human settlements. This means that they are extremely independent and adept hunters. Like other members of the Ridgeback family, the Thai Ridgeback is distinguishable by a ridge of fur on their back that grows in the opposite direction as the remainder of their coat. Other distinctive features of this breed include triangular ears, a wedge-shaped head, and a short, soft, smooth coat. As for the build, the Thai Ridgeback sports an agile, muscular, and streamlined body. Number 6. Ozawak The Ozawak is among the most distinguished-looking breeds on today's list. Not only does the Ozawak have a striking presence, but as soon as it moves, you may very well start to suspect that it's not your ordinary dog. This unique canine moves in a notably more feline manner than its peers, and this may be attributed to the Ozawak's origins. This sleek hunting dog was used to take down Gazelle, who can reach speeds of 97 kilometers per hour. The Gazelle, however, can maintain this speed only for a short time, whereas the Ozawak can maintain its speed of nearly 70 kilometers an hour for far longer. Possibly its closest competition is the Greyhound, however, an Ozawak can maintain its top speed in grueling environments that would like prove disastrous to a Greyhound. As far as a pet goes, these speedy creatures are not just for anyone, and require experienced owners with those they accept that can be extremely affectionate. However, they can also be quite fierce, and for this reason, they are definitely not a beginner's dog. However, in the right hands, they can happily live beside other animals, and even children. Number 5. Logato Romagnolo The Logato Romagnolo is a rare breed originating from the Romagna subregion of Italy. In English, the name literally means water dog, and this should come as no surprise considering the original function of this breed was an aquatic retriever. 
In this role, the Lugnoto Ramagnolo would run into lakes and ponds to retrieve downed waterfowl for hunters. However, that's not the only talent that this breed boasts. They also have an exquisite sense of smell, and over the years they have been trained to hunt for truffles. In modern times, this is their primary use as work dogs. Even though the breed is generally known to be an energetic sporting dog, they can also make a docile and loving family pet, bonding particularly well with children. Number 4. The Moody in 1936, Dr. Desno Fanes of Hungary described a never-before-recognized breed of dog. What we now call a Moody was initially dubbed the Driver Dog. Unfortunately, many Moody would not survive World War II, as they were still native to just a small portion of Hungary. By 1966, interest in the Moody had grown and it was officially recognized as a breed by the Fédération Cyclonique Internationale. This recognition meant a resurgence for the breed, and in 2006, it was recognized by the United Kennel Club. While they are still not as common as some other breeds, the number of Moody in the world has grown, and they thrive as working dogs in some areas where they hunt, exterminate rodents, and act as capable herding dogs and flock guardians. In addition to watching over flocks, this rare breed is also a very loyal protector for your home and family. Number 3. Stabby Hound Coming in at number 3 on today's list is the Stabby Hound. This uniquely named dog is among the rarest in the world and range from a specific portion of the Frisian Forest area, a region in the southeast and east of Friesland in the Netherlands. There are currently only a few thousand of these dogs in the world. In the early 1800s, when these dogs were far more common, they were used for bird hunting. In earlier days, it was used for hunting smaller game, foxes and birds. It has also been used for catching moles as well as being a karch dog. This breed is known for being friendly, sensitive, intelligent, peaceful, patient, and willing to please. This combination of traits means that it's relatively easy to train and capable of functioning as a solid, all-purpose dog to poor farmers who could never afford to own separate dogs for protection. In modern times, the Stabby Hound has experienced a surge in popularity, and with such diminished numbers, this makes them highly sought after, and those fortunate enough to own one typically show them in a range of events, including agility, triathlon, obedience, hunting, endurance, and frisbee. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Our top pick for today might just be one of the more unique dogs on today's list, as well as in the world. Number 2. The German Tiger Mastiff The massive dog in this rare picture is known, of course, as the German Tiger Mastiff. The German Tiger Mastiff is the result of a selective breeding program undertaken in 1936. At the time, it was hoped that they would successfully create a catch dog bred expressly for hunting wild boar. At the time, particularly a large wild boar were present in the forest surrounding Berlin, and many people feared casualties if they entered the city limits. In an effort to cull their numbers, hunters with catch dogs took to the forest in hopes of landing a large boar. Unfortunately, many found that the catch dogs of time simply weren't large enough and were often challenged by the much larger boars. German Tiger Mastiffs, however, were fast and big, more than capable of catching a wild boar. Once the Tiger Mastiff caught its prey, it would hold it in place until its handler arrived, at which point the boar was typically dispatched and the dog rewarded. Unfortunately, it proved to be an uncommonly aggressive dog, particularly towards humans. And it seemed that one way or another in this dog's days were numbered. This abundance of aggression meant that very few were successfully bred before the dawn of World War II. With the start of the war came the development of new arms, including the Gewehr 43, and soon it became easier for hunters to capture the boars without catch dogs. While the German government couldn't account for dogs that were moved abroad, they declared the breed extinct by 1946. However, in recent years, reports have surfaced of the Tiger Massive appearing on the uninhabited island of Malum, where researchers snapped this picture. Unfortunately, this photo is one of a kind, and researchers have yet to catch a specimen of this ultra-rare canine. Now number one. New Guinea Singing Dog Also known as the New Guinea Highland Dog, this breed is native to the New Guinea Highlands on the island of New Guinea and is actually closely related to the Australian Dingo. While the New Guinea Highland Dog is a wild breed, it is best known through its domesticated members, and in fact it's believed that there are only two pictures of these lovely dogs in the wild. In New Guinea, where these dogs are native, many locals keep them either for home security or hunting purposes. But of course, this isn't where they get their unique name. The New Guinea Singing Dog does something that no other breed can. While wolves and coyotes both have distinctive howls, the New Guinea Singing Dog produces a sound more akin to a scream. Oh, 
A single one of these vocalizations can last as long as five seconds, and starts as a particular frequency that then rises and stabilizes for the rest of the cry. However, even after stabilization, the frequency may modulate every 300 to 500 milliseconds. Additionally, the sound typically contains five to eight overtones that add to the depth of the sound. The sound is so intricate that it has been compared to the sounds made by humpback whales. While it's pretty impressive to hear just one of these dogs, not all New Guinea Highland dogs are solo artists. In fact, a phenomenon called chorus howling involves a group of dogs forming a sort of harmony. In chorus howling, the first dog begins, and shortly afterward, the others join in. Typically, these choruses are very well synchronized, and they end almost simultaneously. The New Guinea Highland Dog has one more trick up its sleeve, though. It can also produce a bird-like trill during high arousal. For a long time, it was believed that they were the only canine that produced the sound. However, recently, officials at the Moscow Zoo reported a doll making a similar sound. Which of the rare dogs on today's list was your favorite? Which one would you want to own? Let us know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.